get your butt in the kitchen. What's going on, guys? Malik. Welcome to the Coach Malik Show. My name is Malik Benin, and I am going to be your virtual coach. I'm going to give you the knowledge, the tips, and the advice to help you perform better in all aspects of your life. So, what's the best thing you recommend for cutting up and shredding up those abdominals? Well, Paul, the number one thing that I would recommend is get your butt in the kitchen. That's what I recommend. How many times do fitness professionals have to tell people abs are created in the kitchen? In the kitchen. So the foods that you eat, the types of foods that you eat, the quality, the quantity. It's not the quality or the quality. It's the quality and the quantity. It's the portion sizes. It's your exercise activity, your exercise output. How much are you exercising? And how much are you consuming? How much are you bringing in? And how much are you putting out? Right? Just like a banker or an accountant, the good ones know what's coming in and what's going out. The good, you know, people with good relations with their bodies know what's coming in and they know what's going out. And that's why I think a lot of you guys should track your calories, Paul, because you'll be more aware of what you're eating. I don't think you should track for restrictiveness. I think you should track for awareness. Okay, um, so how to get abs is get your butt in the kitchen. I would say, because I'm actually gonna give you some tips. I don't want to just be mean to you. But number one, cut your carbs in half. That's a tactical thing you can do right now. And I know if you're trying to get some abs, you're probably already cutting a little carbs. So make sure you're not having zero carbs, but unless you're on keto or whatever. But have, you know, cut your carbs in half. So if you're having 300, have 150 grams a day, right? If you're having 150 grams a day, have about 70, 80 grams of carbs a day, which is about 20 to 30 a meal. Um, which isn't that much, but you'll definitely get ads from that. And then also just track and make sure that you're not having extra carbs in your drinks that you're having or your coffees or your creamers. Make sure that you're actually having the calories that you think you're eating. Um, and then how to get, you know, your abs just more muscular. Do abs with weights. Like, you know, again, I don't, I, I say this hesitantly because I don't want you to, I don't know what stage you're in. I don't want you to hurt your lower back, but you know, do some, do some ball slams, you know, use a little resistance instead of just doing sit-ups. Get some ball slams going, you know, get a, a, a dumbbell and do some Russian twists on the ground, you know, do some V-ups with some weight, right? Get that weight up to the ceiling. So there's different things that you can do. You strengthen your abs with weight and go a little lower on the reps. Go lower on the carbs, cut them in half, 50% of your carbs and get your butt in the kitchen, Paul. That's how you flatten and cut up your abdominals, your abbies, your abbies, all right? Comment down below again what your question is next week. Maybe I'll answer your question if you leave it on the comments. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, be certain in yourself. Be consistent in your actions because consistency is key. See you next video.